Today, I'm gonna to tell you how to consume at least 50% more protein in six and a half minutes per day. My name is Julian and I am with Jack Vegans, where we help vegans or people that wanna go vegan, shred fat, build muscle, tone up and get fit. The reason I decided to talk about protein is because it is one of the topics that causes the most confusion. Every time I get a new client, most of them are confused about how much protein they need to be consuming. The most common questions I get on social media is, hey, Julian, how much protein are you consuming? How do you consume 250 grams of protein a day? People do not know how to do this. So I decided to do this video to answer everyone's question. And if you're not clear about protein, today you will be. So before we dive into the actual strategy about how to increase your protein intake by at least 50% in six and a half minutes, let's talk about the importance of protein. And now this channel specifically is focused in people who are really serious about their fitness goals, who wanna improve their body composition. So the recommendations that I'm gonna give apply to either people who wanna do natural bodybuilding or people who are really serious about improving their body composition. If you just care about health and you don't care about how, the way you look and about having muscles and looking better without clothing, then this recommendations will probably not apply for you. Other than that, let's go ahead and dive in. So I wanna review two specific studies that I found online, and those talk about the recommendations for bodybuilders when it comes to protein intake. So the first study is a systematic review of dietary protein during calorie restriction in resistance trained lean athletes. So this basically applies for people who are in a caloric deficit. So that means people who wanna lose body fat. This recommendations apply to them. Let's go ahead and talk about the recommendations. Here, as you can see, the recommendations are between 2.3 and 3.1 grams per kilogram of fat-free mass. That basically aligns with what I tell most people, you should be consuming between one to 1.2 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. That's the first study. The second study that I wanna review is nutrition recommendations for bodybuilders in the off season, a narrative review. Now, the conclusions of this study were a little bit different. The recommendation is a little bit smaller. And the reason that the recommendation is smaller is because it's for the off season, meaning you will not be dieting for fat loss during the off season. That means that calories are gonna be higher. And when calories are higher, the chances of muscle loss are lower. So in this study, the recommendation that they arrived to was between 1.6 to 2.2 grams per kilogram of protein per day. And making sure that you're getting around 0.4 to 0.55 grams per kilogram per meal spread out through three to six meals a day. Okay, now that we know the recommendations of how much you need to be consuming, both studies are linked in the description if you wanna check them out. Now let's talk about why protein is so important. So first case scenario where protein matters, caloric deficit. Caloric deficit is when you need to pay the most attention to protein intake because when you're in a caloric deficit, you will be basically putting your body in a state where the body will use tissue as energy. Now your body is a very, very efficient machine. It will use whatever tissue it needs. It will do whatever it takes to keep you going. So you gotta make sure that the variables that you control put you in the best position to not waste muscle, to not use muscle as energy. The way you do that is one, by consuming sufficient protein and two, by adding resistance training. When you put yourself in a caloric deficit, your body will use tissue as energy. And when you consume enough protein and you do resistance training, most of that tissue is going to be fat. And that's what you want during a caloric deficit. You wanna get rid of the fat and you wanna preserve the most amount of muscle possible. So that's the case number one. Case number two, when you wanna build muscle and you're in a caloric surplus. Now, the recommendation of protein here can be a little bit lower because you, your body will not be in a catabolic state. Catabolic means that is destroying tissue. Your body will be in an anabolic state because you're feeding your body more nutrients than what it needs to survive. It's in an anabolic state. It's constantly constructing tissue. Now your body could be anabolic towards fat. It could build more fat and it could be anabolic towards tissue. We wanna make sure that we're anabolic towards muscle tissue, not fat. The way we do that is one, by controlling the amount of calories that we're consuming on a daily basis. We don't wanna put ourselves in a huge surplus where we end up getting fat. And we wanna make sure that we're consuming sufficient amount of protein to allow our body to construct and to build muscle tissue. When you're eating in a caloric surplus, you're basically giving your muscle raw materials to build more muscle tissue. And the last case is during maintenance. And again, this is a very similar to a caloric surplus. You will not be in a catabolic state. You will be in a maintenance state. So your body will not be either losing tissue or building new tissue because you'll be consuming the right amount of calories that you need to maintain your current body composition and your current body weight. But again, you don't wanna lose muscle tissue while you're doing that. And the way you do that is by consuming sufficient protein and doing resistance training. One of the biggest struggles that a lot of vegans have, and I've seen this happening a lot of times, and again, people ask me on social media, I went vegan 
and I lost muscle. I'm getting softer. My body weight's the same, but I see my abs fading and my, my shoulders are, are shrinking. Why does that happen? Veganism is not the reason why people are losing muscle. Bad nutrition is why people are losing muscle. So make sure you implement today's recommendations so that you preserve your muscle tissue. And if you want our help with this, we can help you out with a free consultation. All you gotta do is click on the link in the description, book a free consultation where we'll get on the phone with you and we'll see if we can help you with your goals. Now let's talk about how to increase your protein by 50% in six and a half minutes. Now this strategy is so simple that you're probably gonna tell yourself, why didn't I think of this before? It's very simple. You're gonna do one or two smoothies a day and in each smoothie, you're gonna add one to two scoops. So that means that you can be consuming either from an extra 50 grams a day to 100 grams a day of protein. Generally, one scoop of protein powder has around 20 to 25 grams of protein. Now, this is very important and you gotta make sure that you do this so this works. When you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're picking protein powders that are very high in protein, very low in carbs, and very low in fats because you don't wanna be consuming a scoop of protein that has 25 grams of protein and 35 grams of carbohydrates. Doing that when you're in a caloric deficit is gonna kill your diet because you're gonna be wasting all these carbohydrates in the scoop that you could just eat from whole foods, from fruits, or from anything else. So make sure that you pick your protein powder that's very high in protein and very low in carbs and fats. If you wanna know my favorite recipe, and in this video right here, I'm gonna tell you exactly how I drink my daily smoothies because this is a strategy that I use myself to increase my protein intake effortlessly. Now, if you want our help with your body composition goals, if you want us to help you shred fat, build muscle, and get fitter, you want us to build your plan to tell you what to do, to hold your hand along the way, it's very simple. All you gotta do is start with a free consultation where we get on the phone, we'll see if and how we can help you out with your goals. And if we can, we'll let you know about next steps. And if we can't, we'll let you know as well and try to point you in the right direction. You can book your free consultation in the link in the description. It takes three minutes to do it. So get it done and I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the like button and you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on my next video. This is Julian signing off.